Hello there, people of the internet. Welcome back to another reaction video. Now, before we actually get into this video, be sure to follow me on my socials that are on screen now to stay up to date with any announcements and future uploads. Also, be sure to join my Discord if you've got something spooky, scary to send me. It should be in the link down there somewhere. And if you're not subscribed already, then consider subscribing because on this channel, we react to analog horrors, spooky, scary videos, games, all that good stuff. So if that's your kind of thing, then be sure to subscribe. Today, we're looking at more Backrooms content because I know you guys love this content. I do as well. And I feel like what I've chosen today are some bangers. I mean, that these are just getting better, guys. They're getting so, so good. Uh, just ridiculous, like, creativity and talent out there. And it's fantastic to see. And uh, without further ado, we're going to get into this. Be sure to follow each of these creators down below. I will link them in the order that I play the videos. Uh, this one is called The Pool Rooms, found footage by Jared Pike. So let's get into this. So this is um, this is a, a quite a popular liminal space, this one. See, the, the clever thing about this is that they've intertwined back rooms with liminal spaces. Because I guess the back rooms in and itself is a liminal space. But there's something super eerie about like these kind of spaces that I guess they just go well together the back rooms lore and this you know what i mean <clears throat> and this is very well done the sound design's great the video looks fantastic i mean look at that shimmering that's amazing this looks real i wouldn't be surprised if it is real do places like this exist with this kind of thing where like you can just swim or walk through places like this. I think the scariest thing about it is just the... Just the, the isolation, I guess. Man. That is just terrifying though, isn't it? Like, I'd get, like, although it's such an open space, I would feel super claustrophobic here. So I feel like there, there's no windows. There's, well, there probably is, obviously, because the sun's leaking in, but there's just no way out, almost. And it reminds me of that game we played um, a while ago on the channel. Man, having, uh, what's it? One of those freaking segways would be good right about now. See, this is, I would say this is a, uh, oh, something's following this guy. That's why they were running. Got it. Okay. Got it. Fantastic. Guys, that was Jared Pike. Like I said, go follow, uh, subscribe, show some love, and we're going to move on. Before I do that, though, I'm going to take my vitamins. My vitamins. My vitamins. Oh my god, my vitamins. Oh my god. What am I doing? What's wrong with me? Oh, nothing like vitamins and a monster. Okay, next video. So this is Backrooms VHS by Scrap X Gaming with 323 subscribers. Uh, let's just check it out straight away. Let's see what you got. Most of these are short and sweet. Some of them are a little bit longer than others. Oh god, I've got a chill down my back. This feels a lot more tighter. This would terrify me because in other like in other videos, it's kind of like very open, like open space. But this feels extremely like claustrophobic and like restraining almost. That sound would drive you insane as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was a nice one, Scrapex Gaming. You got me speaks a little bit, okay? Good job, man. Keep up the good work. Okay, our next video is from Mihaly Riz G. I'm so sorry if I'm... No, Mihail. Is it Mihail? Video contains flashing lights, okay? So you have been warned. This is called Found in Back Rooms. Let's have a look. This one's four minutes long. That was pretty cool. As if, like, he's checking if it's recording or whatever. This is where the hound is, isn't it? Hey, look, there's the exit. Go on. Go through the exit. This is really good. Because 
the very is very subtle sorry to keep pausing guys but i thought you know i'd, I'd just chip in because it wouldn't be a reaction if i just don't say anything about it but it's the subtle things that make these things feel more real like the camera like it's kane does it perfectly like the camera zooms and the and the focus and like the uh, i don't know like the way things interact within the environment itself and it makes it feel like it's all natural and real it's really good so these little movements of like checking the camera and stuff and like you know going in and out of focus really good oh that's a smiler oh <laughs> Oh my god, run, mate. Holy shit. Oh god, he's in the freaking... What's this? Level... What level is this? Level 13. The hotel lobby. The hotel rooms, I guess. Jimmy. Sorry, I need to stop doing that. Hang on, was that his hand there? See, I mean, that kind of thing there is just makes it feel so much more natural. Holy shit, it's Inception. Go on, can you actually get up there? Go on. Defy gravity, I dare you. There's something behind you, isn't there? Don't do the slope. Oh. Something's going to chase him out of this level now, right? Oh, flickering lights. Okay, this is the flashing lights, I'm, I'm guessing, so... What the hell was that? That was like that thing from freaking Baldi's Basics. You know the thing that teleports you near Baldi? So what level is this? Oh, it's still level 13, but it's at night time. Like, it, the lights are off. Oh my goodness. Something down there. I don't know what's so terrifying about, like, seeing a pit. And then seeing, like, something down there, like, lurking, like, you'll see, like, a face or something, like, looking up at you. And it's just, it doesn't really do anything, but just stares at you menacingly. I, I find that really, like, creepy. Like, you don't need to do a jump scare, and you don't need to, like, create something horrific. But it's just the little things. Like, I remember 28 days later, the film, um, th that was just my first interaction with this, and it was it scarred me for life. But there's the bit where he goes into the church, and he sees all the dead people, and he kind of knocks something... And then you see this priest turn around and look it up at him. And then you see him run out of view, but you hear his footsteps get louder towards him. And, I, and that just terrified me. It's just the little things. Really good, though. Oh, that door's open. Hey, come on in. We're having a party. Hey, you got any alcohol, kid? You're under arrest. I'm the police. I'm the back rooms police. Jesus! That was a no clip, and that was just straight up falling. Is this a sub level? Variants of level 19. Holy crap. This is really good, man. This is on, on the same level as Kane, for sure. Design, camera movement, animation, fantastic. Eeriness. I think you've captured this really, really well and you should be proud of yourself. What is this, though? Is this like... This feels like they're below like, the bleachers or something. Oh, is this like a parking lot? I can't even... I feel sick looking at this. Whoa! Hang on. Don't do that. Don't do... Those are figures. What the hell was that? Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Oh, that's... This is actually, like, creeping me out. Where is he now? Not recognized? Oh, it's like the... Stay there, mate. Stay there, don't move. Uh, oh, God, it's making me feel ill.
So he fell into an area that just completely destroyed his, his camera, basically. Wow. 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 That was fantastic. Holy shit, dude. You deserve more subscribers. I'm liking and subscribing to that. If, G, if you go subscribe to Ma Mahail. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Go to react to M. I'll call you M. MG. MRG. Good old buddy MRG. Um, that was brilliant. They deserve so many more subscribers than that. You've, you, you really, really did a fantastic job on setting the tone for how a backrooms video should look in terms of like the lore and like how it's supposed to make you feel brilliant i'm not saying the others were bad in comparison but that that one in particular genuinely frightened me so well done yeah, we're moving on now to a known creator that we've uh subscribed to frag 2 absolutely fantastic creator they did the one with the hole in the back rooms and the one before that was that that weird arachnid kind of spider creature uh but yeah, this one from the thumbnail looks terrifying. So uh, let's just get into this. God, this is th these episodes are so good. These videos are so good. C congratulations, guys. Honestly, you're doing such a fantastic job. It's so good as well because it's there's unlimited creativity with this. There's so many different levels of the back rooms. And there's so many different entities that you can play with. I would love to see like a mother one or a um, the ones that are in the junkyard. I forgot what they're called. The massive ones or an underwater one. That that one, there's any craters out there. An underwater one would absolutely terrify me. And you're guaranteed poo in the pants. Anyway, we're on to Frag 2 now. So let's pay some respect, shall we? Got to put some respect on their name. Ah, Mr. Bond. Just turns around, he's got a cat in it. Oh, Mr. Bond, I've been thrown. Mr. Bond! <laughs> you can imagine. You can imagine, you know what? You know in James Bond when they turn around, like, yes. You can imagine, yes, Mr. Bond, I've been expecting you. Why don't you come and have a. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, you'd feel so exposed because there's really nowhere to hide. Because even if. Guys, I'm going to say this outright. I'm not scared of moths, but the big ones terrify me. And I'll tell you why. When I was about 18, 19, I forgot how old I was, right? But uh, a hawk moth, they're called. Search them up if you, if you don't know what it is. Flew into the room, right? And it was about this. This body was about this thick. And his wings were like freaking that, I swear to God. I had to sleep in the bath that night because I didn't want to squish it. I didn't want to kill it. Because one, I don't, I, I don't condone violence on any kind of animal creature. Uh, two, the splat that it would have made would have been just disturbingly disgusting. And three, I don't have it in me. Okay, but yeah, that was a terrifying fine night. And this, if I saw that, it's like Silent Hill. Oh, it's flying straight at him. And he just walks around like nothing happened. Oh my goodness. Mate, at this point, you'd be, you know those footsteps? You'd be hearing, because I'd be walking in my own poo at this point. I'd be just butt-ass naked, I think. Which would be awkward if you no-clip through back to reality. It's like you made it back to home, but at what cost? Now, you've, now you're exploiting yourself and you're going to get sent to jail. You land in a kid's park. Okay, no, stop it. What the hell is that? Oh, is this like going off the... Whoa, they're doing like the whole FMV thing here. It's a very smiley, uh... Hang on. 20... 2047! There's time travel going on here? Oh, this is interesting. Look, it's 1996. I didn't think you was allowed to... Maybe in the, in the future you can smile in your ID photos. And we wouldn't look like freaking criminals all the time. Oh my god. Hello? Why are you saying hello? Like someone's down there going to go, Oh, you're all right, mate. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that goes down into the... the no. He went down there. I swear to god. If that... Oh, why would you go through there? What are those things? Oh my god, Jesus! Mate, get out of there. Oh! You freaking clickbaited us with the, tie the, the thumbnail. Well, technically you didn't, because I guess it comes here. Oh my god, that was, that was fantastic. You're not meant to look out the windows, guys, if you land in the back rooms. You're not meant to look out the windows. And I imagine this is why here, even though it didn't happen. But still, that was that was good. That was very, very good. God, man, you guys are just... Guys, go like, subscribe to Frag2. Honestly, I'm, I'm just super impressed with, like, the talent out there. It's ridiculous. Ridiculously good. So last but not least, guys, uh, we are reacting to Geonosis. Or GNS, I guess we could say. Uh, and this is called Escape from the Back Rooms, Liminal Stairs, Found Footage. So, here we go. Fantastic episode today, guys. Fantastic uh, compilation of Back Rooms videos. You should, you should be proud of yourselves for those who created these. Keep up the good work, that's all I've got to say. Oh, this is the, uh, the Kane Pixels bit. Uh, I forgot what this... Oh, it is called Liminal Stairs, I think. I think that's what the actual thing's called. Is it like an endless staircase or something? That'll be just bad. Put me in the normal back rooms. At least then my legs won't hurt as much. Doing a, a freaking steep climb. Or just go right to the top and throw yourself down them. Then you can infinitely fall to your death. Oh, the tension's good. The tension's very good. This is a modern home. And if you look through here, you've got loads of open space. You've got a camera here for some reason. I don't ask why. You've got the cupboards. You've got the, the storage there. Oh, and look over there. It's a light. It's shining. Oh, ignore that. That always happens. Uh, moving on, let's go through before something comes and kills us. Oh. What was that? Man. I love it because it really brings out the freaking awesome eeriness. The creepiness. The just amazingness. Like, what, what horror should be, what scary feels like is just this incarnate, basically. Guys, fantastic. Go subscribe to Geonosis, or I don't know how you say that name. I'm sorry, man, if I'm butchering that. Um, yeah, go go show some love. All that good stuff. Like the videos, you know, sh share a nice positive message over there because, honestly, these guys are fantastic. Really, really good. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, this was probably one of the best backrooms videos by far um for sure obviously kane is absolutely amazing what he does i mean kane aside this was really really good really good once again guys be sure to follow me on my socials that are on screen now to stay up to date with any announcements and uploads in the future join my discord also to send me some spooky scary stuff the link should be down below and if you're not subscribed already consider subscribing if this is your thing if you like analog horrors scary videos spooky games all that good stuff consider subscribing and once again guys your support has been absolutely phenomenal the channel has been doing better than any like any channel i've personally created individually myself and i really do appreciate your support and obviously the creators that i react to if it weren't for you guys i wouldn't be doing this right now i wouldn't have the opportunity to grow an audience and to you know watch your content and build a community uh so i really do appreciate that i appreciate all you guys uh but yeah 
Thank you for watching, guys, and I shall see you on the next video. Take care.